Hey guys, Chip with Zelda Plus 7 here again, but you can call me Chip, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be covering the most recent Bay Channel, um, as well as uh, a little bit just talking of the most recent Summon video. Now, I recommend that you go watch those first, because they have all the context, but if you would like to watch um, this first, I, I appreciate it, as well as if you maybe drop a like, I don't know, that'd be cool. Um, but the most recent Bay Channel, um, had more information on book 5, some new units, as well as some cool changes, um, cool quality of life changes to the game that will be very, very nice for the average player. So, let's get started. Book 5, um, covering a cool new region called Netoblir. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know if I'm getting that right. Either way, Cool new, uh, cool mythology deal. Um, very steampunk looking, lots of gears and tech and mechanical stuff. Um, very, very neat uh, cinematic as well as new characters. Um, so I, obviously I recommend you'll watch that. Um, I am not doing it justice by very poorly explaining the whole deal. But either way, cool new characters, cool new uh, book. So let's get into it with some of the characters. Um, First one being the big bad guy himself, Fafnir. Um, this guy will probably just be kind of a tool the whole time, be very antagonistic and very, you know, he's an antagonist. What else can I say about him? Um, his design's really neat. Um, the cinematic, he was kind of normal until that crown got put in his head, uh, so something probably to do with that crown. Um, who knows? But he seems pretty kind of rules with an iron fist, um, but also kind of that laid-back ruler who's also very intimidating. Who knows? Um, but cool design, and I'm excited to see what the book goes. Um, next is his younger brother, Oter. Um, Oter, uh, in the summon video, it, that was him. It was kind of hard to tell. Well, probably, well, seems to be an axe unit um, with the whole new cool stuff of the units themselves, which I'll get into later. Um, with him, he looks up to his brother, kind of almost worship, is how it's explained. So he'll probably be like, for, for Fafnir, you know? Um, and he'll probably be also kind of a tool the whole time. But maybe he'll get some sort of redemption. Who knows? Um, I can only hope, uh, because... I mean, obviously, it'd be cool if the characters were cool with each other, right? I mean, I don't know. Anyways, the... I guess main, in this case, the main character that you will be getting as a free unit, Regan. Regan is the younger sister of the other two, as well as, it seems in the cinematic, she kind of learns that she might not be in the right kind of being on their side, so she joins us um, at the end of chapter one. Once you beat it, you get Regan as a free unit for your barracks, which is awesome, considering that she is kind of, kind of busted, you know. Um, immediately coming with Swiss Sparrow 3, little speed defense, and panic smoke. Very good fodder, but I obviously recommend not fodder her, because there will likely be quests, as well as she's going to be very useful as a new mythic hero, which I'll get into later. Um, so, there's really cool stuff with just her skill set. But her weapon, called the Lingather, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, is also really insane. Um, it speed plus three, which is good, but also Kanto. If you don't know what Kanto is, I'll explain it in just a little bit. Um, but she, when she initiates, she gets a packet speed plus six, in addition to her Swiss Barrel, um, as well as if they retaliate, then that first combat is. Uh, damage reduction by 30%. So, very, very good. Kind of like uh, Summer Mia, like the, the harmonic Summer Mia uh, Mars duo. Um, so, Kanto, if you don't know what Kanto is, um, it's basically Gale Force in a sense. But with the actual Kanto being, uh, I guess, could be paired with Gale Force, um, she can attack, use an assist skill, or destroy a structure and move again afterwards. That's just crazy, because if Gale Force activates, like she attacks and Gale Force activates, 
then she comes back and breaks the structure, and then she can move again. That's insane. But it's only usable in the first four turns. So be sparing, but also be like use it, because that's insane. That's actually just insane. Her special as well is new, called Sather's Shell. Um, very start of turn one, fully charges it. It's a three turn cooldown special, but at the start of turn one, it's a cooldown charge of minus three, so it's immediately, immediately ready. It's just 15 extra damage, but it calculates using the, the lower of the defensive threat. So when it activates, very strong. Very strong special that's ready right away. So a very, very good unit to have, just in general. Um, so good for all the free-to-play guides out there that they're definitely going to have this unit. Um, she's going to be very, very good. Um, so now that we're done with the new units, um, let's cover uh, some characters that I know a little bit better um, from Sacred Stone. Now, Sacred Stone was, is one of my favorite Fire Emblem games. Uh, Marissa is from Sacred Stone, so just by default, this game is cool. amazing. It's just a, it's just one of the good, it's a really good one. Um, and I'm very happy that these characters did get introduced um, and are coming to play. Now, to start off, Dusel. Dusel having uh, some insane skills, uh, making him very, very bulky. Not only does he have Rao's uh, defense res, he has defense res solo 4. So he's going to be very, very bulky, as well as low attack defense, which will neutralize all the attack buffs from anyone attacking him. And he will just live. And his lance, if he's alone, it inflicts another attack. Uh, another six, minus six attack and defense. That's crazy. As well as giving him a follow up. So he doesn't need speed. You could invest in all his defense, his res, his attack, whatever. He's gonna live some hits, like straight up. He will not go down for a while, probably. So very cool, very cool uh, character, like already, but very. Bulky and Fey, I'm very happy um, that he's in the game. Uh, so, do so. Next is the character that probably no one knows how to pronounce his name, or no one knew how to pronounce his name until Fey said it in the video. Kellek. It's apparently Kellek or Kalik, I don't exactly remember. My whole, all the, this whole time, I thought it was pronounced Selic, like kind of like Julius Caesar. Um, Selic, or how they pronounce Sita, like in Fire Emblem Warriors, um, it, when people would always call her Sheeta, or Keita even, but Kellek. Um, he is going to be our next Grand Hero Battle unit, coming with Reprisal Axe, as well as hopefully Guard at uh, 4 stars. So we'll get that in the, not something cool, in the, just the available, you know, Guard at 4 stars. Um, it's a decent skill or just in general, guard is pretty useful. Um, but Reprisal Lance, a new weapon, uh, the axe version of Reprisal Lance, which is just your stance built into an axe. So all the Kellogg fans out there, good for you. Uh, he's gonna be fairly easy to build once he gets released with the heroic rails. And it seems that his attack's pretty good, as well as his res and defense not being horrible. Um, so he's definitely an enemy phase unit. And hopefully, um, hopefully people are happy that he's in the game. I, I know he's the bad guy, but I, it's pretty cool that he's in the game finally, and that we also know how to correctly pronounce his name. Next, another fan favorite, Selena. Uh, kind of breaking the record for having an alt in the game and then getting their actual version in the game. Um, because just this past summer, she she had a summer version. And now her actual version is going to be added. Um, very, very well liked unit. Also very good skill set. Um, Life and Death 4, as well as the new attack res Bruce. Um, her tome 
uh, when she is at higher HP, she gets attack and speed plus 5, and also no follow-up, as well as no no follow-up, because uh, she nullifies anyone's follow-up, and nullifies effects that nullify follow-up. Yeah, so, there's that. But, very happy that she's in the game, officially, as well. So, good for her, good for the fans of her. Um, awesome. Next, well, I keep saying another fan favorite, um, but characters that people definitely want to in the game, Noel. Uh, Noel gets finally added to Faye, um, with very, very nice art. I keep, I don't even mention all the artwork, it's so good. Um, I like the style, um, but also, he is getting added to the game the same way Emeryn was when she was added through quests. So he will be in for unit also, but also very good. Um, a resource of the Red Fox Tome, which was originally just on Hubert, being 5 star locked. Kind of stuck to try and get that for your favorite Red Tome units. But very, uh, very cool that he's finally in the game. Very happy for him. Um, pretty, pretty. Okay, stat spread, good res. Um, his speed is pretty moderate, but either way, very, very happy. Um, now, uh, the, my favorite unit of the five of these, but also kind of the most lackluster of the bunch, Natasha. Natasha's finally getting added into the game. She's one of my favorite healers in the whole series. Um, her skill set, not the best. Uh, close guard is sealed, but I don't know why you wouldn't just get the seal, use the seal if you want to use that skill. But either way, I'm, I'm very happy she's in the game. And she's also the four star focus of this banner, of this upcoming banner. So very easy to at least summon one. Um, also very easy to merge up. So very happy. Not much to say about Natasha other than the fact that she's in the game. Also, she's, she's really pretty. She's so cute. Um, yeah. Now, after all these units have been introduced, some changes to the game that people may or may not have been wanting, but are kind of just going to happen anyway because we're getting a new version of Mythic Heroes. Some changes to, oh, that's just update information, that's a screenshot I took, but some changes to Ether raids with the new Mythic Hero, Regan, um, having a new effect where that is kind of also pretty sucky. Um, Ether raids is a very it, it, I like the game mode, but it's also very summon intensive. If you have more merges, you're gonna get uh, better results. Um, that's kind of the case for a lot of the game modes in the game. But uh, the more uh, new mythics you have, the better like chances. Because if you have a new mythics in the game, you get uh, an extra hero slot during their season. So when it's extra season for Regan, uh, you get a hero slot um, that's available for whatever the blessing that they can use is for that season. But the, what, if they're blessed for that season, they can be added to the team. So another reason why hopefully no one will bother Regan, um, unless they get extras in the summon session. Um, very, very unique effect, as well as very good for people trying to get a little bit higher up in Ether Raids, because the changes to Ether Raids are benefiting people who are um, also trying to get a little bit higher because lift loss is um, increased a little bit, but also the lift gain is also increased. I said also a lot. Anyways, um, that's basically it for the um, changes to ether raids. There's cool, some cool stuff with that if you're into that. But um, now the actual, my favorite part of this entire Fey channel, even better than the Sacred Stones unit getting added are changes to summoning. So, it, this is a, a very big deal, um, especially for free-to-play players. Um, now, when you would summon normally, like sure, on new Heroes banners, there's the, you get the Spark, which if you summon a good amount, you get a big guarantee from it anyway. But there's still the very high chance of getting um, like non-focus units and whatever like that. But a cool little thing, is your focus is now going to be on screen when you're on the during the summon screen it's there it's going to be there so if you miscount or you stop tearing or whatever it didn't matter um cool little little change but 
like I was saying, we're the very high possibility of getting a non-focus unit on a banner uh, you want a certain unit on. Um, it happens a lot. It happens a lot. Especially to, not especially, but it feels like it's especially to free-to-play players because the orbs are very precious to get units that you want for your barracks. If you want them purely because you like the character or you want them for skills, for skills, there's only so much you can do when you're spending orbs trying to summon. But the best change, I think, to summoning ever. Obviously the summon pool can be tweaked a little bit, but if you summon a non-focused unit, it doesn't go all the way back down to zero. Or not zero, but like the default. So 3%. It reduces, but it doesn't go all the way back down. I think that is the best change for summoning ever in this game. That's absolutely incredible. Because not only do you not have to like re-summon up to like maybe five percent, like that happens a lot of time. I my highest percent I got to was like six point two five, and I got pity broken. I didn't even get the unit I wanted. Um, but it happens, and now that if it happens again, it will be better and just so so nice. That's such a nice change. Um, the fact that instead of going all the way back down, it just reduces a little bit, it's incredible. That's, like, I, I can't even, like, I keep saying it's incredible, because it is. It's literally all I can say about it. Um, so that's basically it for this video, with a little bit of the, um, a little bit of information for the next Seasonal Heroes, um, the winter festival heroes um sorry the screenshots kind of kind of bad with all the snow it was it's obviously meant to be a silhouette so it's going to be hard to see anyway but if you can kind of make out the fact that someone's kind of dressed as a christmas tree or if they're not dressed as a christmas tree um that second from the left it could be someone in lance or maybe a staff i don't know also on the far right and those look like reindeer horns and the snow's kind of scaring it but it looks like they were holding like a blade on their shoulder, like they're just holding it up. So, I don't know. Cool new heroes, and like that's that's just nice to think about. More, more seasonal units are always fun. Anyways, that is it for this Fate Channel review, as well as covering the new units um, from the summon video that just happened. Cool, cool, cool stuff. And I'm very excited for what Book 5 can offer. Um, uh, there's going to be quests and new units and just so much more. Obviously, with every Fate Channel and update, there is a little bit more. But this one, with just the summon changes, I think is probably one of my favorite Fate Channel. Now, thank you all so much for watching. And I hope to see you again. Remember to like subscribe, and until next time, bye.